Hi. You look, Hi, everyone. It's so great to see you. I haven't it's seen so you in a while. It's so great to see you, Ellen. Thanks no, for being here. It's been here. a long time. I know. And, uh, you got so married to, since I've seen you? I did. Congratulations. I got married. I gave up on you. And oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> I got married uh, about two and a half years ago to the greatest guy. Oh, that is such a cheesy photo, isn't it? It's like, hello. It's like what comes in the frame when you <laughs> yeah, buy the exactly. frame. Yeah, um, exactly. His name's John Molner, and I feel really lucky because he's funny and kind and really smart and great company. You know, you forget how important it is just to enjoy being with the person. Really? Do you forget that? I think that's really important. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why. I don't know why. You really appreciate it when you yeah. do love being with with that person. Yeah, so, you should um, be with I'm your really best happy. friend. I'm really happy. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank I'm you. happy for you. All right, so let's talk about the documentary. I can't, I just wish that the audience could have seen the entire thing before you were on because it's going to be on Nat Geo, and I really hope everyone sees it because, and I have to say, as a gay person, I, I don't know anything about transgender or any of everything. Gender nonconforming. <laughs> Nothing. Gender. You know, there's a whole new vocabulary that exists, and I think it's so... It, there's such a generational divide. I think young people, I don't know if you all have college age kids or younger, it's much more open and accepted, I think, for people to not fall into this binary that I was raised, uh, you know, with this whole boy, girl, blue, pink. And I think for people who are a little bit older, like me, uh, a cisgender woman, which means I identify with the gender in which I was born, it's very hard to wrap your head around these new concepts and, and people who feel very differently than, than some of us do. And I wanted to explore it and give people the vocabulary and the tools to have a, a real conversation about it because I think a lot of hatred, you know, and Ellen, I think you know about this from your own experience, comes from fear and fear comes out of ignorance. Yep. And if we help to un explain things and understand things and and appreciate the biological factors that go into gender, that's then what this things will really change in terms of our, our openness and understanding. Well, that's, that's why I think it's so fascinating. Like I said, just because I'm gay doesn't mean I understand it, uh, people that, that are, you know. Well, sexual orientation, as you learn, yes. is completely different it, than gender identification. And oftentimes, people conflate those two things. And one of the experts or one of the guys I talked to said, uh, gender is who you go to bed as sexual orientation is who you go to bed with. So there's a real distinction yeah. there. And, and, and so when you talk about gender is who you go to bed as, like, you know, I go to bed as a woman, I live as a woman, that's, that's who I am, and that's just because I'm gay doesn't mean I have a different gender identity in my head. But people who have a different gender identity in their head, it's a biological, it's a real thing. I think we looked at Caitlyn Jenner and we learned for the kind of the first time, all of us, what what that was, but we still didn't understand it.